Turns out that Yandere Dev likes his women just like his game. Not developed. I wanted to start the video off with that joke because I thought it was so clever. I was patting myself on the back for coming up with it. But now we gotta start from the beginning. What is Yandere Dev? Who is he? What does he do? His name's Alex Mahan, and what he does is uh, he created a game called Yandere Simulator. And what Yandere means is basically just means love stricken in Japanese, and it's a term used for people who are like obsessively in love with someone to the point where they pretty much just go psychotic trying to get with them. And this Yandere Simulator game that Alex was creating has been in development since 2014. It's pretty much stuck in development hell. There's no end in sight. No release date has even been teased. It seems like he's just going to be working on this game until GTA 8 comes out, and then maybe it'll get a release announcement. But it just doesn't look like the, the game is anywhere near finished, and it's because of all these little technicalities he's wanting to put in the game. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. All that mumbo-jumbo with the game is kind of irrelevant. I just wanted to give you a background and a lore behind the man, who has now been proven to be a predator. A child predator. Much like EDP. It seems like if you gain, gain internet fame and notoriety, you just have to become a pedophile. There's a correlation at the very least. You know, internet fame is for some reason associated with likelihood of becoming a pedophile. Because that's exactly what Alex did. And I want to show you some of the things that are going on here. Some of these text messages that have been coming out on this situation. Here's a screenshot of one of the conversations between him and this 16 year old on uh, Snapchat. He says, you were the one traumatizing me. She says, I'm sorry. He says this. This here is trauma. This is abuse. This is power imbalance. I am being emotionally abused by you. I'm 16. <laughs> That's such a funny little screenshot right there. If you just crop out everything below this and above that. This is abuse. This is power imbalance. I'm being emotionally abused by you. I'm 16. <laughs> the power imbalance line is just so fucking comedic, man. He should put a red nose on and put a, a rainbow wig on top of his little head. Because that is clown behavior. That is such a stupid thing, man. It is so dumb. Power imbalance. Emotionally abused. Coming from the person who is double their age. He's double her age, and he's also the one that has this massive internet following. And yet, he's the one that's experiencing the power imbalance. Dear God, man. Like, obviously, you know this Yandere, this uh, Alex dude. I'm gonna stop saying the Japanese word. Alex, you obviously know from the get-go he's a weirdo. He's a loser. He's not a great guy. This isn't all that surprising. I, I knew a little bit about this guy, and this news didn't really shock me. I mean, if you look at all the stuff that's in front of you, you don't have to connect too many lines to figure out he's a he's a loser and a terrible person. And then there's this screenshot that came out. It's a Discord screenshot, but it was posted on his subreddit community thing. And she says, okay, sure, I'll send them tomorrow. I'm at school right now. It's exactly what you think it is. He says, that's fine, looking forward to it. What do you want in the video, though? I've never taken a nude before, haha. -ha. Oh my god. I don't mind. Anything is fine. Sorry for the late response, but one more thing. Because I'm underage, what if I get in trouble? Sending that stuff is illegal if you're under 18. It's only illegal if you report it, and I trust you won't. <laughs> it fuck excuse me? Dear God, that is one of the most disgusting conversations I've ever read. It's deplorable. It's a horrible. Dear God, it's only it's only illegal if you report it. And I trust you won't. That's like some next level shittery. It sounds like such a emotionally manipulative phrase. I trust you won't. Like what the fuck, man? And then when all these allegations and all that came out, uh, some person made a video on him called The New Allegations and Evid Evidence Against Yandere Dev. And the video got copy stricken. And it was filed by Alex under the victim's real name against her wishes. <laughs> Which is uh, straight up, that's got to be illegal, right? Filing a copyright claim in someone else's name. There, there has to be something illegal there. That is just messed up on so many different levels. The dude is trying to scrub the slate clean and trying to wipe away all the evidence using the victim's name. That he made a victim, and then when someone exposes him for it, 
He's trying to get rid of everything by using that person's name. That is just so fucked up. And I will truly never believe that there's justice in this crooked world unless Alex actually faces jail time and faces punishment for his actions. Until his actions have consequences, I will not believe that there's justice in this world. And I found this clip here that aged like spoiled milk, if you just want to take a look real quick. What is this, a preschool? You mean this whole time has been child porn? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. What is this? A if only that last part he said was true. Uh, I really hope he does go to jail. We can all cross our fingers, cross our eyes even, and just knock on wood and everything. All the tricks in the book to hope that this guy goes to jail. If we all do that, maybe we can tip the scales in, in the favor of locking this guy up because he needs to face some major repercussions for his actions. But now we can hop on over to his website, Yandere Simulator. Web, uh, it's a, a blog. It's a website that has a blog on the website about all the updates and the developments going on. But he posted this on September 25th, five days ago at this point. I'm a little bit tardy to the party. And he said, I'm sorry. He starts it off by saying, hi, you've probably heard some really concerning stuff over the last few days. You might have seen a video that has left you feeling worried, disappointed, and wondering what I have to say for myself. There's a part of me that wants to say, no, you don't understand the video was edited in an extremely dishonest and misleading way, blah, blah, blah. But no, I'm not going to focus on that. And I'm going to skip bits and pieces of this. I just want to give you the summary because this whole thing is like a, it's like a, a, passage from the Bible. It's like uh, we're reading the whole entirety of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, so I'm going to skip a bit of it. Uh, he says, but no, I'm not going to do that. This isn't a blog post about how, actually, you see, I didn't do anything all that bad. If you consider all the facts, I'm just going to take accountability and own up to a really, really huge fucking mistake that I've made. And that's an understatement. It's a lot bigger than really, really huge fucking mistake. It's a, it's a criminal mistake. It's literally the one of the lowest points a human can go, taking advantage of a child. And then he goes into the backstory here saying how a few months back, a fan of the game DM'd him and wanted to chat. So they started talking, and then after two months, he agreed to do a voice chat with her. And right off the bat, she let him know that she was 16, and he didn't perceive that as a problem because he said he didn't care about her age. She just is just a funny fan of the game who wants to talk to me. This is no big deal. And that's how he rationalized it to himself. Which obviously, yes, he says it's mistake number one, and that's a huge mistake. Just, if, if you're a famous person, if you're a popular internet persona or whatever, just don't mingle with fans and you'll never get into situations like this. Like, sure, your intent going into it may not be hostile, you may not have bad intentions, but still, it could. It seems like it always turns out bad for these people that do interact with fans. Specifically underage fans, it always turns sexual and pedophilic in nature. Somehow, some way, it just always happens. Are these people just secretly terrible humans and it's just being revealed to the public? Yes, that's definitely what's going on. And then as he's going through it here, he starts talking about how uh, he made some vulgar jokes that uh, he makes when voice chatting with his other friends. And it was absolutely unacceptable unac mistake. No grown-up should ever use adult language or make adult jokes in the presence of a minor. And he just says he did that because he felt comfortable with her. But that doesn't make it okay. There's no exclu That's no excuse in the slightest. Any interaction between an adult and a minor, it is the adult's responsibility to put an immediate stop to any inappropriate behavior. There's absolutely no excuse for tolerating this as if it was okay. I didn't want to be a buzzkill, or I didn't want to ruin the vibes, or we were just having a lot harder jokey conversation. It didn't really feel like anything wrong was happening. Are not acceptable excuses in the slightest. Very true, all very valid points. But just because you're taking accountability doesn't change the fact that you did something very, 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 with a cherry on top, horrible, inexcusable, and something that you really just can't recover from. I can believe that people will change and grow as humans on pretty much any occasion, except when it's a pedophile. I just forever never want to give that person another chance again. That's just me personally. That's how I feel about the situation. It's one of the most disgusting, downright, terrible things you could do as a human is exploiting and taking advantage of a child. It's just sickening. I recommend you go read this thing for yourself to be fully caught up and understand all the stuff he's saying. I'm just not gonna read this to you like it's a bedtime story. That's one of the most boring things I think a YouTuber could possibly do is just read a passage word for word for, to somebody. 
But this is the last part of this I'm going to read to you. Uh, he says, and now look what I've gone and done. Instead of doing everything in my power to disprove the allegations that I'm attracted to kids, I made some remarks that sound really, really, really fucking questionable. I'm not even going to say it only sounds bad because it's out of context. If only you had the context, you'd understand that it wasn't so bad. I'm just going to own up to this one. The fact that it even happened at all is bad. Regardless of the context, there is no excuse. It's an outright fuck up. Pure and simple. And then he drops down here and shows how he donated a thousand dollars to Rain, which is a nonprofit organization that provides care and benefits to survivors of abuse. And that's a good gesture. It's a nice thing to do. But I don't think that even makes up in the slightest for what he's done. I don't think this apology really helps at all either. Like, at least he didn't pull an EDP and just go off the radar and try to ignore it and then say it was all like a big cover up, or not a cover, it was all a big setup saying that he was an actor in the video, all that kind of garbage. At least he's apologizing, but still, I don't think there's any excuse. There's no amount of apologizing, no amount of feet kissing, no am amount of accountability that can make up for this, in my opinion. Because to me, someone in a position of power, someone like him, an internet personality, uh, talking to an underage fan and then taking advantage of that fan by starting to make things sexual and all that kind of stuff, the power dynamic and all that. It's one of the worst things you could do. It's easily the one of the worst things you could do as someone who has a presence on the internet is to take advantage of an underage fan. It's disgusting and I think that anyone who does it should immediately be banished to Davy Jones Locker to suffer for all eternity. And there's so many comments on here saying, uh, you know, we understand it's so big of you to do this. First step is good. A cancel culture has gone too far. This isn't cancel culture. There is proof, evidence, copious amounts of evidence, text messages, chat logs of him being a pedophile, which is a crime, not just something to get, to get canceled about, like being racist on the internet. This is a crime. He committed a crime with an underage child. Can you get that through your thick skull? He is a complete, utter fucking loser and deserves nothing good in his life. And obviously now the game, Yandere Simulator, is never going to be finished. And just to cement the fact that Yandere Dev Alex isn't a good person, on the same website where he posted the I'm Sorry blog post, the Yandere Simulator website, he has a whole page dedicated to debunking allegations that have been put up against him. A biblical amount of these allegations. Now, all of them aren't as severe as these pedophile things. I don't think there's a section for him being a pedophile yet, at the very at, yet at the very least. But there is one where he said, uh, "Where is it at here?" Where it says that he wants to kill his parents. He says, "No, I don't." If you have to specify and clarify that you don't want to kill your parents, I don't think you're uh, that great of a person. You know, all, all things admitted, I don't think you're that great of a guy. And just to keep beating this dead horse, someone even made an entire iceberg of his dramas that he's been involved in, just to further prove that he's a bad person, all the way from stolen assets, inaccurate representation of Japan, stop sending me emails, consume the cum chalice, all the way down to he called himself an ephibophile to deflect predator allegations and just to show you what an ephibophile is it's someone who is primarily sexually interested in mid to late adolescence generally ages 15 to 18 so it's just like another fancy word for being a pedophile and then you go up a bit, a bit you got multiple grooming cases justifying calling columbine you get the point the dude has always been a, a bad person. Yandere Simulator is never going to be done. I don't know if it was ever going to be finished in the first place, but now it's for sure never going to get finished because also people who were volunteering and doing voice acting for the game have now backed out because of this situation, rightfully so. Who wants to be associated with a Neanderthal and an idiot like Alex? Like, no one wants to be associated with someone as big of a loser and a terrible person like Alex. The sorry, the apology really does nothing for me. Uh, there's also this right here that someone posted, another Discord message from him. Basically saying he's making a statement about disassociative identity disorder. 
saying that he doesn't think it's a real thing. He thinks it's a made-up fantasy that some people indulge in as an excuse to occasionally roleplay as a different person. He said he can't take it anymore. He can no longer pretend like it's not the weirdest, dumbest, cringiest thing ever. It makes him uncomfortable and creeps him out. And I don't want to see, and he don't want to see that weird crap in here anymore. Funny how he's saying that uh, he doesn't want to see that weird crap anymore and it's weird and dumb and all that. And yet he was attempting to sex with a kid. He, he was being sexual with a child over Discord and Snapchat. And, and this is what weirds him out. And this is what creeps him out. Someone with disassociative identity disorder. That's where he draws the line. So it's like on the tier of things being bad at the bottom, there's being a pedophile. And then at the top, disassociative identity disorder. Something that you is just like an actual disorder. And then something that is just one of the creepiest, worst crimes you could ever commit. Being a pedophile. The, that's the totem pole. And then he also remove that person from the server for having disassociative identity disorder saying that they can no longer play along with someone's weird fantasies or pretend like their silly role playing is normal it is very ironic how he's saying he can no longer play along with someone's weird fantasies while he himself has been in a fantasy for like almost 10 years the fantasy of being a game developer the fantasy of acting like he's ever going to finish that game and the fantasy like he himself is a normal person yeah, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay. But just to give you a little recap again, he's a horrible person. His game's going to be forever in development hell. I hope it never gets released. I, I really think it's going to be a sucky game anyways. It doesn't seem that impressive, that fun in the first place. Uh, it's a game about an anime girl who's madly in love and like kills people to try to get to that lover or whatever. It doesn't matter what the game's about. All that matters is that Alex Mahan is a pedophile. He is a predator. He needs to face consequences for his actions. He needs to be locked up in the slammers. Throw him in the gulag or something. I don't know. It just he needs he needs to get a little jail time slapped on him. He needs a little sentence slapped on him. And until that happens, this story won't have a fairy tale ending. Regardless of if he gets canceled off the internet, this dude is a criminal and he needs to be treated like a criminal by actually facing the criminal justice system. And not just this internet justice system where they cancel him off the internet. No, this is far more serious than that. And it's just yet another, sadly, uh, yet another example of an internet personality taking advantage of one of their underage fans. The cycle continues. And it's sad that there's a cycle in the first place, but uh, other than that, I guess I'll see you in the next one.